NanoTerra is a Swiss program to fund research on the engineering of complex systems involving nanotechnology for applications in health and the environment. With a focus on prototype development, the program offers researchers the opportunity to apply their findings to concrete situations in hospitals, in cities, and in the home. NanoTerra research takes advantage of extreme miniaturization in electronics to reduce size and energy consumption. This improves the autonomy and mobility of electronic devices and allows them to be used to efficiently monitor pollution in cities, improve medical services, and create new approaches to personalized medicine. NanoTerra has explored new technologies. We expect this technology to play a significant role in the development of new companies within the country. We have chosen the best scientists in Switzerland to work in these topics. NanoTerra spans all of Switzerland, bringing together 31 research institutions and 30 industrial partners. More than 700 staff members are working on almost 100 research activities funded by the program. This dense network of Swiss researchers is unique for the collaboration it stimulates between hospitals, universities, the two federal institutes of technology, and industrial partners. In the health domain, leading scientists in nanotechnology and systems design are collaborating with healthcare specialists to create next-generation smart prostheses for hip and knee replacement. With this project, we have designed sensors that are inside the knee prosthesis and we can check during the surgery how it goes. After knee replacement surgery, these sensors give important information for improved rehabilitation and ultimately reduce the need for further costly and painful surgery. With this technology, the Swiss company Symbios can take advantage, make a new product, and thousands of patients will have a more comfortable experience. NanoTerra researchers are also working on sensor technology to be integrated directly into clothing to monitor various vital signs. At ETHZ, such smart textiles are being created to help patients receive highly personalized care, while they can still be worn and washed like everyday clothes. We uh, design electronic circuits on plastics using our clean room here, and then we can refit in textiles. So at the end, we have electronics in a normal piece of textile. Smart Textiles is a fast-growing market that can be used to monitor blood oxygen levels, heartbeat, and other vital signs. Projects funded by NanoTerra are at the forefront of the ongoing technological revolution, integrating ever smaller sensors within increasingly interconnected networks. These low-power radios are actually enablers for these emerging technologies for applications such as wireless body area network, wireless sensor networks, opening brand new markets that would not be possible without those microsystems. By favoring applied research, NanoTerra helps bring research out of the labs and into industry, with several patents filed in the first five years. One of these patents is used in the OpenSense project that monitors pollution in Lausanne and Zurich. This information helps citizens and policymakers to ascertain urban pollution's impact on health and the environment. In OpenSense, uh, we are monitoring air quality using uh, SensorScope technology. This allows us to monitor temperature, humidity and air quality parameters. And we are putting a number of stations on buses and compared to static stations, this is like we would have a much larger number of stations giving us a very precise image of what's going from one street to the next. Other NanoTerra researchers are using wireless sensor technology to better understand how climate change influences mountain morphology in the harsh alpine environment prone to rockfalls and extreme climatic conditions. We've mounted our sensor networks on the peaks of the Swiss Alps, on the Matterhorn and Jungfeuer. They've been operating for multiple years now, turning out many millions of data points.
we installed many sensors that included temperature sensors, crack meters and automatic cameras. These spatially distributed and very dense measurements helped us to get insight that we didn't think possible only a few years ago. From the difficult conditions of the Swiss mountains to the demanding requirements of the human body, NanoTerra researchers are elaborating extremely small, low-energy and robust systems to tackle tomorrow's challenges, such as personalized medicine to monitor diabetes, chemotherapy treatment, or predict heart attacks. We have fabricated a biochip that can be implanted on the skin. The chip is in contact with a telephone that can communicate medical information to a doctor. In case of an heart attack, the heart of the patients release into the blood some special molecules like, for example, troponin, and our implantable biochip is able to detect this molecule and to inform the doctor that the heart attack is coming. Building on the success of the past five years, future NanoTerra projects will further push the limits between engineering and life sciences to improve the condition of people with disabilities. Collaborations between hospitals and research institutions will develop novel neuroprosthetic approaches that engineer the nervous system to regain lost mobility and other functions. The Spine Repair Project is an interdisciplinary venture that has two main goals. The first one is to design and integrate a novel type of spinal cord neuroprosthesis. And the second goal is to actually use this neuroprosthesis in order to develop the optimal stimulation pattern to restore locomotion after spinal cord injury. We will make prototypes very early on in the project so that they can be uh, implemented in an uh, animal model so that we can test both robotic rehabilitation combined with this novel electrical stimulation. Auditory implants are the most successful neuroprosthetic devices to date, yet the surgical procedure could be greatly improved. The main challenge of this NanoTerra project is to advance the safety of a robotic procedure developed in Bern to a point where surgeons feel comfortable using it in the operating room. Using our technology, we will be able to drill a very small hole in the temporal bone, a much smaller hole, which will result in much less pain for the patient and a much shorter hospitalization time. Funding from the Nantera project will enable us to take our technology further to clinical application and a clinical trial in the near future. The NanoTerra program is funding some of the most advanced research in Switzerland to develop technology that improves the security and health of its citizens. By creating enduring collaborations between hospitals, enterprises and research institutions, NanoTerra is contributing to an improved quality of life and is an undeniable stimulus for the economy. NanoTerra. Small technology making a big impact.